Um, as you know, Dick Miller runs a company called Mike Miller Microsystems. It's been in business for a long time. Uh, I actually dealt with them when I was working for Raytheon Data Systems in the uh, late 70s or early 80s. In any case, Dick is an expert at um, photography, especially in using Photox. And he's given some pretty good uh, demonstrations of Photox, which is an excellent photo editor. Are, are we on? Yeah. Oh, and Dill is uh, Dick's wife. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm Dick Miller. Uh, this is Jill Miller. <laughs> and uh, yes, we've been running Miller Microcomputer Services for many a decade. And uh, we started before we knew about good things like Linux. But back when the Radio Shack TRS-80 allowed us to bring computers home, we thought that they might be useful, but not with the current software. They were very weak. A friend of ours uh, turned out to be an expert on fourth. And for many years, we sold MMS fourth for TRS-80s and other tiny computers and um, sold applications that could actually run on it given a good enough language for the job. Uh, we love Linux. Uh, been there for a long time. We're two of the founders of the Natick FOSS user group and uh, natickfoss.org. And by the way, you can find us at millermicro.org, easy enough. And uh, we are V Millers, spelled out T H E. V Millers at millermicro.org. So, com. com. Sorry, I'm back on the user group. <laughs> anyway, um, so if there are follow up questions or interests, let us know. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about Photox, which has been around for quite a few years. Until this year, it was spelled F O T O X X. And I'd like to tell people that it was Botox for photos. <laughs> Help people remember how to spell it. But that has changed. It turns out that Photox with a double X now gets you to some interesting porn sites. So as of the beginning of this year, it's F-O-T-O-C-X. I think the C is for camera, but I can't prove it. Anyway, um, we'll introduce you to the latest flavor, Photox 24.30. I'll bet that'll change in a week or two. It has regular upgrades and uh, inputs are welcome. That's what got me involved with it. I was so astounded by how well it fit on Linux uh, that I contacted the author, the primary author, Michael Cornelison. He's from Texas. He's worked in Boston for a few years. And now he lives where his wife came from in Germany. So an interesting path there, but he's another Bostonian and uh, I like what he does a lot. So I've started volunteering too. I happen not to volunteer with code. I volunteer with seat of the pants feeling as to how it is for beginners and for experts. And a few of my suggestions are in there. And I've got one on the table right now, might be back in a week or two, might not. Uh, but I'll show you where we are today. First of all, I'm going to wink off. Oh, by the way, 
As far as I know, we're the only Linux company on the shores of beautiful Lake Cochichuan. That's out our bedroom window that you're seeing behind my head and taken a couple of evenings ago. So um, when you come to visit us, don't miss the backyard. <laughs> uh, we like, as you might guess, woods and water. So I'm going to first just put on a slideshow of what I like to look at on my laptop. And it will mostly be finished uh, images. And they'll come up randomly. You may see a repeat or two. But basically, uh, they're mostly ones from photos I took with a tiny, inexpensive smartphone. The smartphone isn't what makes them so good, but I can run them through Photox and come out with really nice images. Uh, so that's what got me interested. That's what kept me interested. And I'm sharing it with people as I do often. Um, great stuff. And the price is right. And unless you want to do some fancy gymnastics, it wants to be running on Linux. You're in the right place at the right time. I'm going to put on a bit of my slideshow as I'm talking a little further, just to introduce you to some of the woods, some of the water, some of the results. Then I'm going to switch over to a few raw photographs that I'll play with. Not raw. Uh, not raw format, raw, not yet edited. My particular smartphone is now set to save them as JPEG. So most of them will be coming in that way. But I also very happily take pictures off the web, take screenshots in the middle of a video, and play with them and get them here. You'll see some of those too. And the third category we play with is images the computer creates. I like fractals will be some other examples as well. So we'll play through a little bit of it and then I'll go in and build some with you. If you have quick questions that are pertaining to something that's hot, ask. If my audio isn't working, point it out, don't wait. But for big issues, I hope we'll have some time at the end to lean in and look at fancy questions. So measure which one it ought to be, and we'll see how we field it. Good. Uh, let's see. I hear tell that I could go over to my, uh, yeah, I guess that'd be a good idea. Why don't I just say, wow. Well, first you have to select the screen. What? First, you have to select your window or screen. OK, I'm in the right one. Well, no, I'm in the, I'm in the one I want to go to later. Uh, entire screen, yes. And am I seeing the one I'm looking for? I don't think so. Yeah, the variety. Well, well, but you want to click on entire screen. First of course. And then but but oh, where's, wow. well, I want the one that's the slideshow first, uh, which is hiding around the corner, no doubt. Oh, well, let's see what I've got here. Joe, do you remember where I hid the other part? Nope. Okay, the heck with it. Slideshow later. Um, that's where I think I am. You need to say entire screen, allow, and then go to your desktop. Desktop. Um, what are you saying? Where? Which? Get out of full screen. F11. Here, Joe. Push a few buttons faster. Got a lot of pieces up here right now. How do you show the uh, wallpaper? I don't know. I'd go this way. Oh, okay. 
And that's the little guy I was looking for. Oh, well. See if I'm right. No, you're not showing your wallpaper. I thought I was a moment ago. Come back, wallpaper. This one? No. What? Do you push? I, I don't you know. Oh, how to oh okay. Do it from. Okay. I claim it's right in here. And uh, maybe preferences. Too many layers, folks. Uh, You're not sharing your screen yet. I thought I was. We're one of these, right? Down in here? Yeah. This one? I think so. That's what I thought. Okay. Select window or screen. Yes, I say. Linux Mint makes it much harder to get to the... What should, what should we do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me go. Let me go to the one I was going to be working from. Is this it? Uh, no. Hard to believe. Well, I claim this is the one that should be running now in the background. You have to click on allow. I thought I had. I don't get it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and we go. having used up too much time, why don't I not show you the slideshow? And you can just click on one and just do show. This. And instead, so. I'll just uh, work from some unedited images for the most part. But I want to tell you that Photox can do almost anything you want to do with an image. Uh, and I guess I'll prove it with some of these. I'm not sure where Sergei Pesterov uh, lives, but this just might be a picture from Siberia. And woods, water, I like it. We're not seeing it. I'm not? I thought I was. Come on. Was... Joe, I believe you, but what do I do? <laughs> Let's see. I can't believe how confused this is. This should be straightforward, and it was earlier. Um, goodness. Did you open Photox? Uh, yeah. Well, maybe it closed. So I'm it's... opening Photox. We'll get there. It looks like you're just sharing your browser window. Maybe you should share your entire desktop instead. Well, this is what they're saying, Dick. I understand. <laughs> Getting to something else would be very good. Um, what the heck got switched here? Should so, have happened. Go back to blue. Could you go back to the blue screen? The blue screen. Oh, B L U. Okay. <laughs> I have some blue screens on the bottom line. Um, are you talking about uh, Photox? No. Sure. No. No. I'm talking about the LU. Well, I got to there on Jitsi on Photox, right? I mean, <laughs> on uh, Firefox. Somewhere in there, I should think we'd have a Jitsi. Stop sharing. You want me to? Yes. Okay. And then go back Sh and share again. Go to share. Go to select window or screen. And the entire screen. No, I suggest that you go to the Photox one. Which Photox? This one. Up to? Up to oh, this? That one? No. This one. It says Photox. We've got everything here. Oh, allow. Good. I swear we did this. Ha! <laughs> that was simple. Better. Tomorrow I'll give a talk on Jitsi. <laughs> it won't take long. 
Uh, okay. Um, here we have some images. And come on, boys. That's the top. Am I not on the one I thought it was? Probably. This is the one I was going to show as a slideshow. Oh, okay. So I think we want to go back to pictures all because Let's go. Let's go find the one on the after. Should be in wallpaper, right? Uh, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> pictures. Sharing another application window. What's that about? Not there? Oh, sorry, it's going to be up here somewhere. About like there. Wallpaper. No? I think it's this one. Yeah, it was under wallpaper. What? Now go up to the top again. And here we go. So simple, only a child can do it. Seems to me we were here before, but now you can see it. All righty. Uh, again, here we are, maybe in Siberia. And I like the pictures this fellow takes. And here's one he took. And what interests me most about it, stop sharing other window, I presume? I guess so. Or is that the minus? We're about to find out. You're kidding. <laughs> this is agony. Uh, I don't want. I don't want that. You're killing me here. Uh, you have Botox open. You do. So you're going to do. Is that not that showing not though. Not showing here. Okay. And you're going to go back to this screen and start sharing again. From here. Screen. Okay. You'd think it would be believing me by now. Said start, but it hasn't started. I saw a blink. There we go. Uh, yes. Entire. You want the demo images, I think? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. And Wow. Well, well, we've been here before, haven't we? That's Botox demo images. That's the right place. Let's try my luck. Oh, except you need to be in Botox. Tell me what I'm going to do. But that's not the one that's being shared. Open with Botox. See if that helps any. I thought it would. Now, what do I do here? The minus? No, when no, I hit stop. Yes. This is, I think it's the only thing left. I'm going to try it, folks. Better. Now, why didn't that get anywhere? I'm currently sharing the file browser. Yep. But it doesn't go over to here. I think you need to, I need to, you know, I think you need to be in, share the entire screen. I am showing the entire screen, aren't no, I? No, you are. Is that any better? What are you suggesting? This is what we are seeing. Yes. What are you suggesting? Somebody out there. Oh, where I'm lost in Jitsi. Yeah, instead of sharing just one window, you should share the entire desktop. If it's not going to switch between windows automatically. Yeah, I think you have to stop sharing first and then reshare. I think it's see, correct. I've got that. Got that. That's all I have for two. Okay. What? What? What do you say? Yes, please. 
We're coming around the mountain when we come. Okay. Question is, did I stop sharing? I guess I did. It keeps stopping sharing. Entire screen. Yeah, we're we're seeing Jill now. That's a that's progress. That's a, that's okay. That's uh, my resident expert. Now you go to Photox. And you're this seeing. looks almost believable. Okay, this and is where seeing, we were beginning. Long yeah, ago. we're seeing Photox now. Seeing Photox yes. now. Uh, uh, Jill has a screen receiving, so I can tell. But it's nice to be there. Now. Uh, there's that little guy in the center, beautiful picture, uh, but is it a guy or is it a girl? Is he doing something or isn't he? Or is it just a bar with a red top? Well, for my viewing pleasure, I'd like to know that. So we'll start with something easy. It's, uh, as you can see in the upper left, it's in Photox. And you can see where I am, and that it's another photo from Sergei Pesterev, uh, caught online. And now I've got that, uh, and I'm going to start editing it. First thing I probably would do is take it and ever so cleverly say, save. Why? Because I want to keep the original and I could accidentally save right onto it. So instead we'll save as a new file version. Now this currently happens to be a JPEG. So I don't want to change that. Otherwise I go down the line and I don't think I particularly want to change titles tonight. Easy enough to do. So I'll just save as a new file version. And come on, boys, you can do this. Ha, ah, it's going slower with the connects. Okay, and up top, you can see I'm now exactly the same name, except dot version zero one dot JPEG. So I won't be overriding the other one as I fiddle around. A good first step. Edit has a lot of options in it, and one of them is crop. I might want to rotate first if it looks real off. Hang on a minute, I'll see if it is real off. It looks to me like that's pretty close to perfect, looking at the shoreline beyond the red something or other. And uh, so I won't do any of that. I just hit G to turn the grid on and off. I can make it any size grid I want, and I can do some other fancy grid-like things with it and she will trigger whichever one is currently defined. Um, so I'll go into edit and I'll proceed to crop. And in crop, it runs faster than this when I'm not on Jitsi. Um, I want to keep it 16 by nine for my purposes on my screen. Most current, uh, good laptops are 16 by 9. Most current good big, t big TVs are 16 by 9. But there's a move on both of them right now to introduce 16 by 10, which translates very close to 8 by 5. So I could do that. I think this is that at the moment. We'll find out. I'll set for 16 by 9. And well, first I'll set to max and then 16 by nine. And it clipped a bunch off the bottom so it wasn't 16 by nine. Good thing I want to change it. Now I want to change it to that size and shape. Come on guys. But that is a new brief again. Go away. A little oversized. Uh, Randall, please mute. What is that? Do I close the minus? 
I think no, so. No, no, no. Don't? Can, okay. You can move that. Meanwhile, I am looking. Just take that and move it up. Okay, and I'm still trying to do that crop, I guess. Uh, yes, you want it, uh, on, I want to get on max it. Yes. Uh, crop. I did a two finger tap on the touchpad to get that list. It's pretty much the same things. Uh, I forgot again, max and then 16 by nine. And now I kind of want to feature that guy. I think this is about sort of kind of where I want to be. But for my next act, I want to first of all, get out to the outside edge on both sides. And once I'm there, I think I'll say, okay. Let go. That, that delay time is not normal. And I'll just ask again with a two finger tap on the touchpad. And I guess I'd like to rescale. No, I wouldn't. I'd like to crop it down a lot first. Back to crop. Either hex. Either one? Yes. <laughs> Say it a little more clearly, I'll track you. And we wait for that effect. And now I want to do that crop again. Edit crop is another way to get there. Whoops. And the part that I'm after is probably going to be, let me just pull this down from, this is the center. If I tap on it, I can drag. I don't really want, well, maybe I do. Why don't I do that to start? And then why don't I smallify it, which is to say, make that guy larger. So first of all, uh, keep the edits. And now I want to enlarge it. Let's see. Uh, You're in crop, though. You want to crop it down a bunch? I am down a bunch. All this is out. Want to go further? I'll go further. Not a problem. And while we're at it, that's more like what I'm thinking except I want it to be a width commensurate with that. I've got a height that's right. So I'll click on the height and then I'll click on 16 by nine. See where it says lock, it's not locked, but oh, I'm gonna click on tab instead. Tab will normalize and I think I'm in the right mode for doing it. I've tapped it. And I think this would be instant. So I think it's not working. So we'll try to force it to 16 by nine. That's closer to what I had in mind, but not what I had in mind. But now the sides will track. So it'll be there very shortly. Whoops. Goodness gracious. That's what I'm talking about. And about that much centered there. About what I have in mind. Maybe I'll make it even a little smaller. That's the image I want to make full screen size. So I'll go over here and say, okay. That's what I'm talking about. And what do you know? Someone's taking a picture of someone taking a picture, <laughs> as I suspected. That's about what I want. It looks kind of not as sharp now for some reason. And I can fix that too. I will go into 
repair next. Oh, wait a minute, it's 3025 for my computer. I want a 2560 by 1440. So why don't I say edit, rescale, and make it, oh, look, I can cheat. Now I'll hit the uh, tab button. This time it's working. 2560 by 1440. Now we have it in a different window, version 01. It's not affecting the original. We have the final shape and size that I want. Now I can start playing with editing it in other ways. I think the first thing I would like to do now is the right size, sharpen it some. Let's see if we can do that. Refine. Oh, let's do this first. Voodoo 1 and Voodoo 2 under Refine are sets of settings, not one setting at a time, but a whole bunch. Voodoo 1 often improves things from my standpoint. Let's give it a try and see. Just change. See the difference? I'll argue I do prefer it and I'll leave it. I can still change it from either one, but that's a good start. And now I'm going to say, let's uh, sharpen it. Repair, sharpen, just for a minute. Each one of these things I click has so many choices. I can blur it on purpose for other effects. I can remove noise and I can do it a lot of ways. A lot of different options, and some of those lead to options and settings and adjustments. So just an example, but I'm after sharpening. Uh, sharpen, by the way, smart erase. I want to remove just the guy in the middle and make it look like the things on his side. Uh, anti-aliasing, all kinds, remove dust, actual dots on it. So many different things. Sharpen in turn has many different things. I like to use a trick here. Unsharp mass is the sharpest. Fixed motion blur is not appropriate. We don't have a motion problem where it was moving fast to one side. And Richardson Lucy isn't really necessary. You can read all about these anytime you read, want to read about one. You just highlight it and touch the F1 key. And there's the information on it. Uh, not hard to do. Don't want it at the moment. But this is a very friendly, powerful system. I'm going to step through by starting with median diff, a sharpening algorithm. I'm going to apply it. It changed slightly, but I don't see it much. Let's look for something small. Right. Well, you're 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 not zoomed. You're at fifty percent, so sharpening shouldn't be visible at this level anyway. Well, I think it will when I say apply, which I did. Uh, well, I'm going up the scale, but these are rather subtle. It isn't that blurry to begin with. Let's look. I'm looking for something I can track and see a difference. That's a small difference. I like right down here. Uh, if you look, huh, I was putting my name up. I'm seeing a little detail and a little sort of a bubble above it that's even more detailed. I'm gonna keep my eye on that as I work and I'll apply. Sharpened a tiny amount, again apply. And now for the one for the pièce de résistance and apply, one, two, three, bang, apply it. It's sharper now than it was before. Look at the edges of the icicles. Look at the fellow's camera strap. 
etc. Um, so that's what I want for sharpening. I'll just say, okay. And now what would I like to do next? Maybe I'd like to back off a little on the contrast. Maybe I'd like to lighten up a bit, but uh, get these lighter, this and this. But this is pretty light already. I don't want to get it lighter. Why don't we try that? Edit retouch. And first of all, let's see if color balancing will do anything good. I expect it's already pretty good. If I only had a gray spot, and I guess I do, I think these are more gray. I'll go for one. I clicked on a gray spot for contrast. So click on a dark spot. Do I have a really dark spot? Yeah, I agree. Right about there. And now that I have them, uh, I'll see, I could go back to the beginning. I could go of this operation. I could go back to the last step in this operation, or I could say, okay. That's what I'm going to say. And we're going to keep it that way. A little less dark up top now. It was pretty black when I began. I think I'll, I'll lighten it a little more. I'm going to go edit, retouch. And this time, I'm going to make it brighter for the gray. That's brighter for the gray. And now I'm going to reduce the contrast because the white got much too white. I'm just stabbing around. It's already pretty good. Too, too far. I want to see a little more of what that guy is standing on. And that's pretty close to where I want to be. I can now see it well. The uh, dark stuff went to details that I can see. It's sharp. Will the color temperature improve any? Take a big step and see. Too washed out. Might be nice to move way back to there. If I go the other way, grossly wrong for what I want, but I've got a lot of controls here at my fingertips. That looks about right. And saturation, I don't know. Be getting better or not? I think I think maybe that's about where I want to be. It's pretty extreme. No, it's too extreme on the mountain in the background. Better. Got the color without getting brightness for it, and the red is still shining through. If it weren't, I can do most any of these steps on red, green, or blue and then go back to another one and mix until it's what I want. This is a lot of controls in one place. If I'm going to be doing this set of settings on a lot of photos, I could save the setting file under a name and then load it again later when I wish I had it. But it didn't take long to get it. So I'll just say, OK. And I think that's everything I want unless I maybe wanted to make some notes on it. I could do all kinds of things. I could uh, find the guy. Oh, a little better. little off center. Well, we'll start here. And now we'll make it on center. I guess I should have started his belly button. Never you mind. I'm, I'm emphasizing it for purposes that might be real someday. And I'll say, apply it. I could go back and add more of the same. But I think I'll say, OK, I want to go back one layer to where I could draw text. And I could say something like, 
Oh, this will be nice for later. I'll stop there for now. This is the picture I want. And all I have to do is say, whoops, save. And tell me what it is, what its name is. I could save it as a new file version, but I already did that. I could save it as a new file name or type, but it's already the JPEG I want. And I could replace the old file. That sounds perfect because it is going to be the new file that I wanted to make. So I'll say replace it. And just one problem here, it is undated. Same stuff. Rename or ask me to rename it, but I'll leave it ugly for the moment. And instead, here's a tool for all the other data I might want to mention, except these first two are very small. If I add a lot of lines to them for some reason, I'm going to lose my apply previous control. They're going to be too far down. So I have an alternate way to edit those when I want. And there it is. Now that way I can go back to the one where I do get to the bottom of the image. It's a trade-off. I have suggested that maybe we can have both by having these expand downward as needed. But you have instead of uh, you have a bailout button to resize to the original, so you don't have that problem. Uh, this would then be called Big Edit, and when you want it, you could have it. But otherwise, you can stay in the window with everything else. I think it's a five. I'm very proud of it. And I, it might be in Siberia. That's wrong. If it were Siberia, it would be here. Or maybe it'd be Russia. Siberia in Russia. And the times are missing. It's got times, but uh, I don't know. I need to go back and find the old ones who were put in today's. And I, I type them in a way that I think is pretty common for other people too. I'll say it's today. 2024-05-15 underline, and I'll say 12-0-0-0-0. For me, that's a time that says, we don't, we don't know or care about the time. Don't worry about it. It's not exactly noontime. And now, I put that in the wrong place, so I just pick it up. Put it over here. And I did the wrong thing with both whoops over here. And I did a wrong thing with both of them. This one for standard notation is going to want colons, thither, and yawn. And this one didn't want that in it. The names I use will. They be names like that began. But instead, these get dashes, hyphens, from the keyboard the way it ought to be. And now that looks right. File name. Uh, Title, not file name. Not in there, Dick. Not in there? No, you're putting it in the date. Pardon? Go back to, it's in the date. You oh. just typed in the date. Yeah, but I thought I could just go to here and be in. Have yes, a... you need to take the IC out of the date. Ha! Huh. And I would like to open the title window because right now that's the only choice, but I think we'll be putting the two back together. Not sure. And what I want to do is say,
why not apply? And there it is up there. And similarly, description. I could put details about who it is, what group it is, anything I want, line after line. And once they're there, they're in a single font. But I can take that font and I can add spaces in the front to do centering of one with another, et cetera. So for instance, I could say, whoops, don't hit shift when you don't mean it, caps lock. Now I'll leave it. And I'll center the two, just to be fancy. The top one needs a little help. Now, one less help, I think, would be better. Nah, I'll stay there. I don't have increments. I can do it other ways that have increments. And I'll say, apply. And there it is, but that applied it to there, not to the image. Let's go find an image, guys. So you want to apply down at the bottom here? What? So you want to apply here? I want to get to the image. No. And. The image is back here. That's the one. It's not this complicated when you don't set up too many layers. That's the original, not the one I want. Why? What? It's not the one I want, is it? Yeah. I think she's right. Not the one I want. Yeah, you have three instances of <laughs> Yes, and I don't, that shouldn't matter, but I'm having a lot of trouble finding the one I want. Uh, well, this one's a big one, so you close, just close this Botox. Really? Look at the size. I, I know, but I, thought, but I want to be there for the next ones. Okay, and uh, still trying. Close that one? Yes. I see where you're going. We do not seem to be short of them today. Holy moly. You didn't close them, you just minimized them. Oh, what did you want? Right click? No, click the red X. Okay, for each one. Come on, guys. That's a photo. Oh, ha! That's the problem. You do want to do an apply, don't you? To put those onto this. Picture. Well, I think not, but we'll see. I think not. I think what I want is to have this guy way off on the side, decide where I'd like to apply it, and try a stab. This is metadata. This isn't going on the picture. That's not the picture? No, that is the picture, but this is metadata, and you're, you're thinking it's text that's going on to the picture. Yes, I am. It isn't. It's metadata. It goes behind it. I'm listening. But it's not, I think it's something different here. This is very confusing with all these layers and the temporary there is the one I want, isn't it? Ah, thought it'd never stop. And I'll just click. I thought that was it. <laughs> I should be able to just click here, put in an image, then go back and resize it, change the font, change the slope angle from the horizontal, 
all we kinds of things. Close that other window, which was the metadata. No, don't close this. Go to Photox. You've got two Photoxes open. That one. And what That's about the it? One. You want to close that, close that window? Yes. Or you want to double click to get back to the wrong double finger. Double finger click on that. And and now you want to go to Do you think it's edit. what you don't think it's in there at the moment? No. I will try. Presumably it's not. It's not. Okay. And back to edit metadata. Uh, no, it's not metadata. You wanted to put text onto the picture. Right? Yes. That's going to so be edit, edit markup text. Markup. I said edit. It didn't listen. Markup text. And it's gone. Oh, the Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Tell you what, I, I said it before. I'm going to leave it for later. So all I want to do with this one, I think I already did. I saved it instead of. <sighs> so this one, as far as I'm concerned, we already saved it. We demonstrated a little more. Now I'm going to go back to look for another one in the same gallery we we're playing with. First of all, I'm going to show off a couple. That's the one we did from that one. Mike Cornelison, who writes Photox, those of you who know may recognize Natick Mall. I sent it to Mike as a panorama view made from several photos, and he sent it back like this. Keep it in mind, we'll be looking at things like it in a minute. Let's see, other interesting ones. This is the one where I was ready to. This is from last night, Steve Colbert. And I thought you'd enjoy it. Everybody see the typo? Good. And uh, <laughs> but I, I like the spirit. And uh, let's see if we can't put a message on it. Uh, let's see, markup and draw text. That's the one. I was going for, except for one thing, text. God, what did I have there? At all? Okay. I think I'll put that under it then. Make it big. Enter. That's the way I want them all to work. And the cold bear needs a little help for centering if I want to center. But this time, let's not. Uh, instead, I'll just take it the way it is. The text is set to be white with no transparency. Oh, I already set the angle. I'll leave it at an angle. No, I won't. I'll put that back to zero. Nope. Back to zero <laughs> and backing there is none it's 100 percent transparent but outline is solid not transparent and five pixels wide and there's a shadow that's fully transparent i can set the angle at which the shadow is falling uh the opposite direction for where the light is so I can do a lot of things with it. But the first thing I'm going to do is make it size 20. Not up there yet. There you go. Just because that's not what I want. And now I'm going to go over here and click. 
That is teeny tiny. So let's see. The uh, 20 wants to be bigger. I can try it's, anything I want in there, but why don't I leave first to the one it's I It's teeny tiny because you're viewing at 39% a 3,000 by 1,600 image. Yeah. So 200 might be better. I'll click on that. Just a click, I changed it on screen. That's more like it. And by the way, I have a rather weird font chosen. And that's almost what I want, but I think. I could type in a number and go right to it. But, and this is much faster. Again, we're not on Jitsi. That looks like about what I had in mind, except I would kind of tuck it in there. And that's the sort of stuff you can do with markup. Very flexible. You can put in arrows and I can apply it to make it stick. And the size is too big. I wanted a 2560. So for this stuff, I think I'm done. Just uh, close it. And I want to resize, edit, rescale to 2560. Now, this guy's on TV. I'm guessing it's already at that standard, semi standard, common TV size, but I don't know yet. Uh, uh, I'll say unlock, and it instantly went to the 1440. It was the right size already. I can say lock. I can say save it that way. I can do anything else that I want, but that's what I wanted. It's now a savable properly sized for my screen usage. If you put it on your 1920 by 1280 screen, you'll find it just sizes perfectly all by itself because that's the same ratio. And I'll make this full screen up and get rid of my Photox controls. And it is indeed a full screen. I can bring the controls back with the same F11 key. They're back. I've got all those zillions of tools. And uh, that's a few examples. I've got a really neat one in here. And uh, I'll go look at it. It's warning me I'm going to lose it. Why don't I do the save for the exercise? And, and I could replace the old file, but the old file was the original. I'd soon keep it. And so I'll save it as a new file version. It's, oh, it's PNG. I don't want that. So I'll say new file name instead or type. And the first thing I'll do is make it a JPEG a lot of options hiding down under if these aren't enough for you. And uh, I could set the quality, but that's good enough for what we do. And it'll be a little smaller. And permissions, read, write, read only, read only. That looks just right. So I'll say leave that and save it. And done with that game, back to the gallery. In the gallery, oh, this is a quickie. Uh, we took my second favorite model with us to France. And I'll show you some of that, but this is something we put together for us and her to share with friends. It's not the size of the screen, but full size it to the part it could full size. It's 4,000 by 3,000 
to make a big poster out of it. But the point is we took a bunch of the photos we've been playing with and we pieced them together into a mashup. Photox does that. This is Claire and she's not a natick. This looks old castle thing. And uh, if she is on the street, we can make it bigger. And uh, I'm just tapping the uh, touch screen to hit the cursor that's in that window. And uh, it's bigger and the stuff is in France and all of that. Actually, this, that one was in Spain. Oh, that was in Spain, okay. And uh, here's one. Uh, now you know you're in France. Look at all the stuff she. <laughs> but better than that, can I get down to it without changing? No, it changes back when I scroll. But what did Claire find in France? Subway. <laughs> And here she is drinking a Subway drink. Uh, other culprits were involved in that exploration. And this is all from the mashup. So you can send one of these and people can do a lot of reading with it. Uh, then we get into real desserts. A big, foamy, yummy sort of a heart. And... Uh, back to where I came in, and it says, Claire eats her way through France, and that's what it's all about. And some of you remember our friend from MIT and beyond, Farron McIntyre. We went to visit him in France in a tiny town, and that's where we are in this image. That's Farron. That's He's an expatriate in a small town. That's almost the whole town you're looking at. And his best friend, Ole Bendik Madso, is a similar expatriate from Norway. And a, turn, and a philosopher and an artist, and his wife is a super artist. And so we were meeting with them and befriending other people. And the town is called Campon sur Ode. My point is, Photox allows us to make a whole slideshow, sort of, kind of, in one image. That is a very nice trick. That's also hiding down in Edit. Uh, am I wrong? I might have lied to you. Uh, combine? Oh, I think it's a batch. Combined. combined mashup. There it is. And boy, are there a lot of other things. You can play with layers. You can play with uh, painting and mixing it in. A lot of different things. The panorama I used at the Natick Mall uh, to send to Mike, who gave it a mashup. Uh, now I'm going to do something different. Back to the gallery because real close to it. This one's back around town, here, not France. And it's a different year, but same model. And first thing I want to do is clip off a part that's the size and shape of my screen. So I start by going to Edit Crop. And in Edit Crop, I would like to have it full size. Much, much as I have picture. So I want it about that wide. And if it's that wide and I hit 16 by nine, that's exactly how much of the image I want. I think I'll get her head further toward the top and get more of a very interesting stonework under her. Put it on one edge and drag this corner to get more of the stonework while her head is in good sight. That looks like what I want. So I guess I could say, okay. Bing. Now I'm using very few of the many pixels I had. 
it says it's looking at 2700 but it probably doesn't have that many to look at right now so why don't we sharpen it a bit first i'll set it into a different uh actual uh image area so we don't lose the first one save and let's see it is a jpeg off of my camera so i don't have to make it a new file type i'll just make it a new version and there it is with v01 any moment now would have been long done now i'm playing in safe territory to preserve the other it's pretty good the way it is i will give a little resizing and then a little sharpening edit why am i doing it in that order why don't i do the fancy edits on the final actual pixel places that's why i'm rescaling first so rescale good old 2560 you'll know the shape you want for your computer and now I just tap the tab key, automatically sets the other to because it's locked on that shape. OK. Now I'm playing with the real pixels in there. I will go play with the uh, Refine Voodoo 1. See if I like it. Five, I'm going to tap when I say zero five four three two one zero i've tapped and we're waiting because it's running slow here i say i taps should be there anyway by now one two three tap we're waiting and move this so you can see whether it's working thank you good idea Well, what I can do is go undo and redo. I'm going to look at the grays down here. Did they get sharper? And redo is two finger tap. Nope, no change. Let go. <laughs> I guess I'm going to stay there. Uh, now I can go into. Uh, why don't I go into sharpen first? So I'll say Under repair. Repair. And oh, come on, guys. Repair. Sharpen. And I'll be an optimist to start. I'm looking for something to focus on. Look at Claire's nose. Look at her eyes. Look above her right eye. See that little blurry hair? A single hair? Almost touching her eyebrow? That's what I'm going to watch. I'm going to go all the way to one shop mask first in case it works. If it doesn't, I'll reset and come in again. One, two, three, go. And I guess it's much more sharp. Can you see it? I'll go back, reset. The tip of it, I can't even see it. Where it's thick, I can see it. The tip of it got sharp in the process. So I'll say, OK. Is it really sharp? pretty sharp and that's nice too if this is the picture i would want for when i came in on it makes a good full screen image and back i go to hit f11 and start playing i'm going to play with this one instead of the full screen one move i say this jerkiness and hesitance is all due to uh, the Jitsi link and the other things I've got 
running at the same time. How many? I am currently running Linux Mint, the current version, which is, I think, 21.3. And uh, it's about to come out with a new one, or maybe it came out. I haven't uploaded to it. Uh, but it has options. I've put all the normal controls for the operating system down on one bottom bar, but there's three windows there. This is one that you're used to. This is one that you're probably used to. And this one is system load indicator, officially known as indicator multi-load. Here we're looking at the CPU activity. I have two real cores and two virtual cores. And for logic, they're colored red, white, blue, and green. And the red one's very busy. The white one's a little busy. Blue is in there, but hardly worth paying attention to. If I want, I can get detailed information on what I'm doing, CPU, and some details and options. This one is memory. The dark green is active RAM in use. The upper light green is cache memory. It's there for instant get back when I want it. We've been doing a little of that. Uh, but if we need more, if it goes up to the top and I need to expand the memory, some of that will be eaten away and repurposed. It's all quite fast in normal mode. This is network transfer. And all I had to do was move the cursor to get the network busy because you're looking at the other end. You want to on the F11 because it's a signaler screen over part of that. OK. Same problem. We just oh, lost no. the controls. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me, why don't I just leave it? It's not changing what we're doing and talking about. So I'll hit F11 again to get back in. And uh, so this is the network. And it's busy because anytime I do something, it goes over the network to you. It wouldn't normally be that busy. And this is saving to my computer anytime I change the image or remember my slideshow. That's what you're seeing in the top, the full lines that show up about every screen width. Not quite. There's one now, and somewhere around where it hits the L. Or there, I get a new screen image. I'm not going to show it to you. I remember the trouble we had. So that's a photo I like. I've got it. And now I'm going to do something much more interesting, all in Photox. Let's play with effects. We could, for instance, try to make it a cartoon image. I'm not sure it's ideal for that, but we can we can play with it just the way it is. Again, takes longer. An interesting effect. Claire didn't get changed that much. Her knees did, but what? Just move, move the head. Okay. Uh, but it's a very interesting, different take. That eyeshadow got highlighted, stuff in her hair. I'd want to back off from that. And I can play with these numbers and make it very different and play until it's what I like. And you can. So I'll just bail from here and go back and see what else I might have done. I could, for instance, sketch. I could draw just the outlines and paint them in with something else. I kind of like painting when you can adjust a lot of things about the painting. Let's see where it's at now. Again, it would be there now if I weren't hooked through the internet. I think you missed I don't. I don't think that did anything. I think you missed. Tapping it? Yeah. Oh, if I don't tap it at the right time, did it change? We'll yeah. go back and look. Yeah, it's much. Undo, much redo. 
a single tap it, or you're looking at her face say, or I'm looking for something obvious. I'm not sure. We'll go back and look at the other one. Uh, look at her skin around the eye. We'll go back the other way. Not what I wanted. I just wanted to go to it. Now we'll never know. Uh, I don't have it there. I guess it's there, but I made it big, didn't I? Yeah. That's the catch. And now I go back, look at the other one. Today's the day. Did you want to undo it that far? Probably not. You're going to Never mind. I'm going to make it big again. I'm going to make it more obvious. Uh, effects. And painting. And let's go for a smaller color depth. Uh, no, a larger color depth, I believe. Wrap more colors into one, if you will. Make that a seven. I'll keep the blur radius where it is till I see where it is better. And the color match, I'll leave a 30 for the moment. All I changed was color depth and apply. I missed. This is because of the connection too. The touchpad isn't quite as lively. Well, I thought it would be more obvious. Uh, let's see, blur radius uh, eight. No, eighteen. Say, what? who knows? <laughs> and let's see. Patch area goal this should be big enough, I think. Let's see what happens. Change only one. Taking a look at what happened. And it looks very fuzzy. So we could. The blur radius. I think is a little extreme. Actually, let's get both of them out. Go back to the four. And patch area goal. I'm not sure, but I'll try. I could hit F1 and read all about it. You already know that. And I think that was too fast. There it is. Now it's starting to look like a painting. See the difference? And I might leave it as a painting. And patch here we go. Let's make it 40. See if that's even more of what I'm looking for. Working, working. Still working down. Look at the CPU. And... Uh, and uh, now look, it looks a lot more like a painting. There's a lot of parameters to fiddle in there, but I'll say, okay. And now that it's okay, I'm gonna go into edit, retouch. I think I didn't hit it hard enough. It's more sluggish than usual. And I'm going to try brightening it and then getting her face in the sky back to normal. A little more detail on the black sweater or whatever. That's better for the sweater. Whoa. That's pretty good for Claire. Saturation. The leaves are starting to change and I don't see it. But that's a lot for Claire. The leaves look better now. 
but uh, I will go to red and drop the red. I hope it doesn't drop the leaves I wanted to fix. Get red. What? You didn't get it to red. It didn't. Again, the touchpad is a little bulky. Uh, and I'll cut down on the saturation just for the red. Much too much. But somewhere in there about, I've got uh, the leaves showing a lot better. It doesn't look particularly sharp. And temperature, probably not as good. A little bit that way I think would be better, about like there. I like it, so I'll say okay. And I'll save it as that version one, just to keep it handy for the moment. What? Version two, just version one. Are you I could do, I could do that sure I'll save it as a new version not replace file and now it's a version two and now I'm going to try sharpening that which remember is big chunks of color you just did save there what you don't need to save again you just did save Good, I didn't mean to. Well, it didn't change anything, did it? Um, so I didn't save again because I didn't say save as same, or and I didn't say save as a new one. Anyway, uh, where am I? Repair, no, sharpen. Re sharpen. sharpen. Try it again. Repair, repair. sharpen. And... So it kind of sharpen the edges without, without doing much to the main part. I'll try it with super sharp to start. If I don't like it, I can reset. Doesn't make a big difference. Well, I think I'm seeing them sharper, but let's creep up on it instead. Reset and go up the chain, do that and apply, do that and apply. To that and by the way there's a little percent mark going while they're on but only the first one took any significant time so far and apply and unsharp mask and apply sometimes it's very significantly different and I think it is this time uh, sharp but sharp as a painting with a rather broad brush, if you will. So other things you can do. That's uh, two. I'll say, OK. I'll open up another new one. Save new version. And up top, it says it's number three. Watch this. Oh, first of all, effects. I haven't been doing much with it yet. There it is. Uh, texture. I'll show you some examples instead, but I can make it look like it's painted on linen and other things. And I can make it look like an engraving. I can add noise on purpose, very effective for some parts of some photos. I can shift colors, do all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, I think I don't want to do any of them right now. I just want you to know we're ready for a different trick, and that's called warp. What can we do with warp? Well, one thing we could do is let's say this tree is slanted this way, and trees out here are slanted this way because we were looking up at her. Easy to unbend, that sort of thing by just saying, well, it's this one where you want those sides to straighten out and fly right. And once I've selected it, I can just hit uh, greater than or less than, uh, I'm sorry, the up arrow and down arrow between them on my computer. And can you see that it's moving? They're not, that's now much closer to straight on that edge. Doesn't matter. I don't really want it, so I'll go back. 
But let's see what else we've got in warp. We had, you could warp at top and bottom. If you took a photograph of a portrait from the side, you'd want to use tools like that to straighten it out or use a tool like perspective to mark each corner of the frame if you have it and then hit enter and bang, it'll all get straightened out, magic. A lot of extra tools hiding in here. I'm going to go to warp and try to do something semi ridiculous. We're getting fancier now. Drag mouse to set center. Well, I'll set it somewhere near the center. I just drag it a little just to set it. And then I'll say it is the center. And we'll give it a little twist. Maybe that way. Maybe that way. Very fine adjust in the middle. It's a little off. And it'd be nice if we could rotate that so her head is upright. I'll make that argument. Well, I know you're in there. That's about right. Uh, well, it's not her head. It's her upper body there. Let's try a little bit more. That's a little lot more. Well, it's close. If we're talking head. I'm going to stop there anyway. We can, we can fiddle a bit. Ah, oh, I think... I think I had it. I'll stop there. I'll say, OK. And that's kind of interesting. If you want it, and sometimes the background goes just wonderfully wild with something like that. Now I can simply say, uh, warp, go for broke, severe. do I get? Make it a little bigger so I can see the part I want. This is just magnifying what I had. This is going to play with the sphere like a so. It didn't do as much as I wanted. Why don't I go back one? Close this and previous next get me there. Undo, Dick. What? Undo. Okay. So Undo. that was previous next. I'll hit it with two fingers so it listens. No, that one, Dick. That's undo, redo that you wanted to be doing. You're going to different <sighs> pictures. Edit. Not there. Come on, rotate. You don't want to be on the picture. Where is it? Oh, I don't. Look at the picture. You don't want to be on that picture. Oh, that picture. Okay. Now I hear you. Go back to gallery. Good idea. And I guess I want this. And in it, I'll go straight to sphere this time. Warp, sphere, and first we'll magnify it. Getting a little weird, but for some things, very effective. And now I can do something you weren't expecting, flatten it. That's kind of neat, it's toward a square. We can take it to the square, but we can pick a place along the way that we like for effect. That's pretty neat. If I take it back to sphere, you could print it onto a button to be pinned on, etc., etc. All in Photox. 
I want to go back and look for an image or two just to make a point, but not do any more. Your gallery will get me back to the one I set up. And not that, not that, not that. Really? I got to be kidding. I claim I, claim I dragged it in. Uh, another one from uh, Mike on Photox. I'll go into mine and find it. Uh, let's see. First of all, gallery. And I will change the gallery to use the data pictures, wallpaper. And use the data to pictures. I have every year separate, and I pull things I want out of them to put into a wallpaper file, and I've got a whole set of them in here. I want to get to a different one in the set, guys. Do I really have to get out of gallery to do that? No, I can't go up to the top. Just top? No. Just scroll, top. Scroll, Just... Scroll. Oh, not this top. Okay. Scroll. Hang on a minute. I can do it faster than that. <laughs> I'm not near the top. You're right. And well, here's all the wallpapers they were hiding. And uh, MMS widescreen, personal widescreen. This is the one we've been playing in. And Here's the one I normally play in when I just want to see my favorite no, pictures. Tall screen. Oh, you don't want oh to. Uh, tall screen. What, wallpaper, personal widescreen. Boy, I'm going to be happy when my new glasses arrive. Oh, these are all pictures in there. With both sales on this, amazing. The Regina Maris, no longer available for selling. We owned a tiny piece of it uh, and uh, a splinter or two, I guess. And a wonderful for sale training. Uh, gallery, gallery, looking for some up top that are to the point. Not there. If I do recent, I think it will be. We have a way in. Oh, again, we're not near the top. Okay. Uh, I think they are sorted by date. Let's see. 23, uh, 2024, 04, 16, 04, 19. We're almost there also. Uh, this was very recent and the backdrop for my head today, now, uh, just for instance, and getting down near the new ones. Uh, I'm a physicist and an electrical optical physicist at that. So it's kind of nice to see what they do nowadays, the stuff I did then. This is a little of the equipment. This one looks for real. And that's a road coming in. This is big. <laughs> and this is the Large Hadron Collider. It's one of the world's larger circles. It's a subway train going around to one stop. And uh, that's the other end looking in. And uh, detail from the other end was, I guess it was there. Uh, oh, it's hardly showing because this is a little oversized. Hmm. There, you can see the part numbers <laughs> marked in along the edge. Very different stuff. I'm looking for another one that I sent to Mike and Mike sent back to me just a little bit different. I want to go to gallery. Um, I'm in gallery and Looking to see if I had it recently as a copy or not. There's half the story right there. Um, 
don't look. <laughs> uh, you looked, because uh, I want to get back to the other one. Well, that's what Mike sent me. It's a pretty neat picture. And it's Claire, me, Jill, and Farron. But we never went to a place with melting glaciers. We sure didn't wait in the ice. <laughs> and if we did, they wouldn't be smiling. I'm really waiting. You can see I'm not smiling. But other than that, and uh, let's go back and see if I can find the other half of it, which will be quite a way back. But in here, if I do a search, edit, oh, no, not, no, no. where is it in this one? Metadata Thank you. Metadata search got all kinds of other things i can do with the metadata attached to this image but i'm going to search through the bunch of them in the gallery at the moment and look for the one it came from this is going to get even better but uh it's already pretty fine so let's see take out the text there. i'm not looking for jill oj but i am looking 2013 France trip. Oh, that'd be good. 2013 France trip. And Claire Dick, Farron, and Jill. This is where, oh, good. There it is. And we don't have everybody in here. Most people are friends or relatives. But Claire and Farron will be pretty unusual for the whole set. I think that ought to be enough. I'll say proceed. one of them there we go and in the france trip ones that's all i'm not finding one i want to show you <laughs> are you at the top i think you're down at the bottom uh, that's the whole thing oh so that's very weird um what do we do to find it? Um, Maybe it's not in the front of the uh, wallpaper. I think it has to be because it's a real good one. But OK, we'll take that out. We'll say top and all my pictures. And we know it's 2023, so I could hop down to there, I guess. Um, oh, it it's getting stranger and str it's sort of weird. I thought it was 2013. It was, you're right. Oh, okay. Sorry, folks. Uh, 2013. And there we'll just look for France. And maybe Dick, because I'm not in most of them. I was taking most of them. So we'll try that. Use the data to pictures. Metadata. Right, metadata. over to metadata. And in metadata, we'll do the search. And in the search, we'll look for not Claire and not Farron. They're in most of them. But instead, we'll look for Dick. I'll be the rare one of the bunch. Maybe you don't want 2013 France trip. Wait a minute. Uh, just a minute. 2013 France and... Dick? Yeah, cause I was in the picture. Right. Okay. I'm clicking, but it's not listening yet. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. We're set. Now we'll say proceed. This does take a few seconds. Up to 10 if I'm doing the giant set, but it'll take a little longer here. That did it. There's one of Dick with we'll stick and more. I don't get that one. This is very weird. I think you want to put <laughs> in 
all four of us. I think, I don't want to say any of us will find it faster. Uh, if I knew the actual date, which I had, I'd get there even faster, but I won't stop, I won't stop to find it. I'll just say top and uh, user data pictures. Oh, by the way, I have a huge amount of storage in this laptop. And the bigger amount of it, two terabytes, is in user data, just so I can keep it separate when I don't use it. Uh, it's basically. You were at 2013 there. I dare say I was. And will be. And now we'll say. I'd like to metadata on it. I think just for the friends. I don't understand why the earlier one did, didn't do that. Maybe you can tag it. Search. I can't believe that. Uh, Turn off Dick. What? Turn off Dick and just do right. the Right. So ready, ready to go, except for that. And I will proceed. I hope this gets the set. It certainly should. And we're waiting, and we got it. Uh, let's see how much. Oh, yes. See the size we're looking at right now compared to the whole height? Very tiny. And we're very close. Uh, I'm going up just in case I missed. I didn't. We're not very close. Oh, well. That white with blue building is the big key. I better go faster. I was looking for the white and blue like that. No, but Still not it. It wasn't white and blue, dear. It was. Well, let's keep looking. I claim it was. That's the end of it. Okay. What do you think we're looking for? That's Whoop. Great. Was that it? No. No. I like that one. Oh. No, no, no. That's Parker's son. No, you saw these though. Nope. Nope. That's what I thought it was going to be. Let's see what it is. Nope. <sighs> Maybe you didn't tag them. There it is. Oh. And there's the white and blue. This, folks, is what our feet in the ice water in the glacier picture was made from. And if you remember, it was quite sharp. So that was the piece that he simply had a smart crop, pulled it out and slapped it on the other layer. Easy as that. And made it look like our feet were in the water. Yes, that was a little harder. But there weren't that many of them to hit individually and recolor. Uh, and that's, I think, the end of the presentation. Unless the other one is still on screen, which I guess it isn't. So that's about what I wanted to show you. I like the Linux Mint laid out this way. And I'll stop sharing. And.
say hello. If I could only find myself, there I am. Showing up. And that's our bedroom window. And I'm beginning to think it would feel good uh, to, <laughs> to use the bed. But are there questions on any parts of that? Did you say there was a new version coming out soon with some new features? Uh, just a minute. For some reason, my sound went down during all of that. Uh, Who was asking the question? Can you hear it okay, Joe? No, I couldn't hear it. Uh, it it's, the, it's you then, I think, not me. Oh, look at that. I should have reversed the image. Uh, was that you asking that question? Would you uh, ask yeah, was it that... again, please? I was asking um, in the in the email earlier. You said something about a new version coming out soon. A new version coming out soon. Would of you of to... which Photox? Yeah. I am in negotiations with Mike Cornelison because if it's going to be a small item, one change or two, uh, either it's easy or it waits for a bigger change. Uh, and Mike is looking at that. My claim, and I'm not working in the code, is that it's easy because it's something I already had. You saw me use it, making one of those one liners, two lines. The question is how to make them any number of lines you want, and you can scroll. And uh, once we've done that, uh, we had it, uh, basically. Uh, so we just add a button it says go back to that view from the enlarged edit view. Uh, that's, that's, that's the only new code, and it's not much. That's if I'm right, and I'm looking from outside the box. So other people help him on the code level, but he's good. I'm not competing with him I, there. I think maybe the question was um, whether it's so going to be a we, new version or a subversion. I think it might be yeah. a subversion. It might be a subversion. There's a lot of upgrades for each update. And that's. Uh, update. Uh, did I get that backwards? I guess so. Anyway, uh, bottom line is maybe out within the week if it turns out to be what I think it is an easy touch. And it may not. So for the time being, uh, go get it. Uh, uh, You'll find out fast enough if there's an update as long as you get on his email list. You don't have to do that to begin. It's not forced, but I think you'll want to once you get the hang of the game. There's also discussion groups available, forum, you know, all kinds of ways you can bounce questions or suggestions. So welcome to the latest Photox. Did you tell them how to get it? Oh, just go online and type in F-O-T-O-C-X. And when you see the one that's coming from either Photox or Cornelison with a C or Cornelix with a K, any of those will get you right there. Don't go to your uh operating systems set of extra downloads invariably it'll be out of date it's easier to go straight to the horse's mouth on this one you'll get the latest greatest any other good questions i have a question yeah. does photox handle uh very large resolutions like 8k does it handle that very well oh yeah I think that's small. <laughs> if you're using raw files rather than PNGs, which I was getting from screen grabs of a video or a still, uh, they were coming in as PNGs and I had to work to convert them. I showed you one or two. But if it's coming in as a JPEG, you'll be very hard put to get one that big. I'm but running. if you're if if you are handling something of size, don't do it on a 
small memory laptop. Yes, I'm running on 16 gigs. I run very big Photox images sometimes. I showed you one that was 7,000 something at the start, the raw image, and I keep those but I keep them over on my user data drive, which I've been playing on here. And uh, when it's only on your own computer and not online concurrently with a lot of connection, uh, I think you'll find that it's one of the fastest ones out there too. I'm running 16 gigabytes of RAM, a huge amount of storage that no longer costs much, and uh, three, three terabytes of storage. And uh, I've got over a terabyte of free space, despite, I think, 135,000 saved photographs, plus extras in wallpaper. <laughs> I'm talking about my main sets by the year and a few other sets like the wallpaper ones. Uh, I've got room. You don't need it if all you want is your 20 best photographs and you can make them from the big ones. I have one more comment to make. Almost everyone can start using this if they're running a good Linux. But in addition to that, I've got that high resolution display. When I do a screen grab, I get higher resolution on what what I save, then you probably will get. To me, this is the biggest advantage of a high resolution screen, other than if you're uh, passing it up to your large screen TV, which also is high resolution. Other than those two, I think most people can't significantly see the difference but I can blow it up and enlarge it further because of my high screen resolution. I don't know if there's comments on that, but it's the first real hardware discussion we've had. And I'm finding I really like Linux Mint. I've been many years on Ubuntu Unity. I like that too, but that picked up direct from Ubuntu while Ubuntu had a problem a few weeks back. A hole for malware to come in. I switched in a panic wanting something. Also built on Ubuntu, but not built on the current Ubuntu. And, uh, and it didn't. Without the snaps problem. And without the snaps issue that I think you've all discussed adequately. It can add snaps when if you want it and uh there's a way to make it run under windows i expect the same kinds of problems i was having uh under uh, with that big internet drag down and in addition to that uh i think you have to take it with snaps if you run it on windows but you'll see the list for all of that. Uh, Ubuntu Unity, also brand new as of a few weeks ago, has another option that the uh, programmer is working on. I grabbed this when I first saw it because it was the big news in Ubuntu that was safe and had lots of things I wanted not just for me, but to hand to clients and support and half the clients were beginners. So I wanted something very nice on different levels. It was all of that. And the guy who posted, who created it and posted it from Ubuntu source code was 10 years old at the time. Now he's even more experienced because he's much older. He recently turned 14. And the degree to which he's good is hard to describe. He's also in India. No issues with English, none. Uh, 
except maybe he knows slang you haven't learned yet from, from the English kids out there. Uh, so that's a treat too. It's now been fixed for that and re-released. And I'm sticking with Mint for a while, but I have both of them on my computer. When I boot, it gives me a list of optional OSs. And normally I just hit enter and go into Linux Mint. But I've got a bunch of Ubuntu Unity on tap and I go right to it if I've got a client that's running on that. The Photox is every bit as good. And again, when you try it without a busy link running at the same time, you'll see why I was missing on some of my taps. They weren't quite live in the tap time. They weren't back yet to seeing it. And why a bunch of operations took a lot more. I think the slowest operation I know on it takes 10 seconds. And that's doing a search through my big set of data. Actually, I think the slowest thing is stitching a panorama. That can take quite a Oh, that takes a while because a you minutes. have to do it. Once you line them upright, it'll take it from there and do the fine alignment, but you have to set it up. I guess that goes for the mashup too. It'll take longer. Uh, but it's got so much in it. If you download it or if you just look from online, look at what the online help offers. Look at what a first look at it in a video looks like, just showing a lot of what I showed, but much faster when you can stop it and back it up and go look at the detail on some operation and see what it's named. And then you can go look it up in the help. Uh, so much. Enjoy. Any other questions? I'm going to test the view that I'm faking behind me here. And I wish you all a very good month until the next meeting. All right, By the way, uh, take a look at nativefoss.org for another set of meetings with a lot of saved data. And I'm looking forward to the recording of this because I have friends who want to see it too. Thank you. Good night. Okay, Dick. Thank uh, you very much. Or actually, I do have one more question. Oh, I'll hang. Uh, do you know if it can be hardware accelerated with a GPU? I'm still having trouble hearing you. Uh, yeah, if, yeah. If it can be hardware accelerated with a GPU. Oh, I would guess so. I don't know the details. Uh, and my gosh, they're talking about making those slow with the research work that's going on right now. So, uh, yeah, tune in next year. You'll have more magic in your box. That's for sure. And I don't see any reason it wouldn't. I'm only running on four uh, CPU, virtual CPU instances. Well, four instances of CPU core, two of which are virtual. Nowadays, I think 10 is the starting amount, but everything else on this computer is so damn good. I think for most jobs, you wouldn't see the difference. That's been my take on the resolution issue with the exceptions I mentioned, and also on speeding it up. You need Dennis's uh, new laptop. Oh, pardon? You need Dennis's new laptop. Do I use what? Dennis's new. Oh, laptop. oh, let's find out. <laughs> Dennis, if you're not on now, get on later. I want to know. Uh, and of course, we'll be seeing each other at that meeting, if not sooner. Uh, great. Bye. Have a good summer. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you.